Hello, greetings. Uh, so in this uh, video, we will explore how we can control the uh, simulation overlay text. So to uh, uh, get access to the simulation uh, window, we would go to the timeliner, click the uh, timeliner window. And here you can see the fourth tab over here could uh, control simulation. All right. So uh, so it is this uh, text that we are particularly uh, interested in. So here you can see uh, this text displays the uh, day of the project, the time duration, uh, and the time uh, of the uh, uh, time it has taken from the beginning of the project and the week of the project. And basically, we could control whatever we want to present, and that could be a powerful communication uh, mechanism as you are displaying your video. Uh, this overlay text. Uh, changes so here as you can see so it is uh, useful to um, control it and present it so we will explore uh, how we can control the information which is uh, written on this top uh, left window here so you go to the simulate tab and click settings here and here you could see uh, some of the default options so uh, usually you could uh, override the start and dates and it's uh, usually a good practice to start it a, a day before uh, start of the project and end it towards a day after uh, beginning of the project. You could uh, set the interval size if it's a very micro scale scheduling you are doing you could do it in hours or minutes but usually uh, for normal projects scheduling uh, uh, or presenting in terms of days uh, is a valid option. And uh, down beneath, you could see the option to edit the overlay text. So this is uh, where we can uh, control uh, what has to be presented, in which format. So uh, by default, the option is to present the uh, date and the time, uh, and the current date, and the time, and the time and date. It has elapsed since beginning of the project, but you can always change it. So first of all, let's manipulate the colors, and the white is not so bright. So let's uh, assume that um, uh, we go for a red option. So the first line would be presented in red. So what I have done, I would repeat, uh, I've taken the a red color option and just done okay and here you could see it would appear in uh, red color uh, and assume that you want to delete or you want to present some other information uh, let's go back and to this uh, edit menu and from here uh, we can uh, uh, go on the extras option and from extras we could uh, have a new line and in the new line we could change a font color so let's choose a green color here and uh, let's have the second option of currently active tasks so we want to display what tasks are currently on display once this is done we can see that uh, our currently active tasks for uh, the project are displayed so this is how we would control the display options uh, in the simulation window